Hello, I'm Phil Svitek, 360 Creative Coach. And in this episode, I want to give you some very simple advice that I heard from Mary Carr on the Tim Ferriss Show. And this is advice that just like, you know, completely, it's, it's so like obvious yet blew my mind. And what she said was that if you're unhappy in life, you should try doing the stuff that happy people are telling you to do. Right? Incredibly so simple and yet like, Wait, holy shit. Yeah, I got to I got to do this. And, and and it's incredible to me how many times the reason why it's it, it's like so revelatory at least for me is because you know, I I've been in position uh much like kind of Mary Carr describes and maybe you've experienced yourself where people are kind of telling you what to do, but you're putting up this 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 blockage of like, well, you don't understand and this and that and and you're kind of choosing to remain and wallow in your misery when it's like you know what you haven't even given the thing that they're they're advocating for a try but but they're happy so rather than just be upset that like oh you don't get my life and you know oh it's easy for you to be happy it's like why not just try the thing that they're saying for you to do and and, and just you know shut your mouth and just do it right it, it almost can be really that basic but we like overcomplicated it and trust me I know because I've done it, but it, you know, and now I've, you know, in the past couple of years, I've really kind of changed up my tactics, but even just hearing her say it in that simple way, just reinforce that notion of like, yeah, man, that we got to make it simple. You know, we got to stop like beating ourselves up. Essentially, that's what that means. Now, I would also say and encourage you to not confuse success with happiness. You know, I think... You know, there's many successful people that are not happy people. So, you know, my intent is to tr truly kind of drive you towards happiness. And so if you see somebody that is truly happy, uh, you know, use that as your barometer. Now, of course, you know, what you would like to do is like in the Venn diagram of, of let's say life, you know, ha get advice from somebody who has the success you want, but also displays happiness, right? Because that's the perfect intersection, right? So that's how I'd encourage you to look at it, not just, you know, so don't don't default to happiness as a success. Focus on the happiness and then also look at, okay, you know, how much success do they have? So that way I'm, I'm listening to their advice. Um, you know, and I can be, you know, I can essentially try to emulate it, right? That's that's what that tip is meant to, to provide for you. So you can ascertain the same level of success and happiness that they have, right? Because in that sense, they're, they're, they, you would think that they're providing a roadmap in some way, right? Um, because we all are, ultimately. So, and you know, all this to say like also too, that I've been kind of thinking about it, you know, when we're kids, we're kind of, our baseline is happiness, right? Um, and you know, it almost is very funny to me, kind of, because it got me, to, just this in general got me thinking about like, what is happiness? It's like this idea that we're always constantly working towards happiness as adults. And it's like, you know, as kids, we didn't have to work to be happy. It was effortless. And, you know, now as adults, we have to work so hard to make it seem effortless. And, and so in that sense, you know, I've been kind of switching up my mindset of like, you know what? I, I know the things that bring me joy. I know that thing, the things that bring me purpose. And, and I'm a hard worker, but... You know, I'm not going to overexert myself and, you know, like half my, I, I, I've kind of, it, it's an odd thing, but like I've redefined, like for me, happiness will be more effortless. And when you kind of look at it, words have power, right? And so in my mind, when I've defined, you know, happiness will be effortless, it can be, you know, and, and listen, I'm not knocking anyone in this sense or whatever, but for me, you know, waking up at four in the morning, that's work and doesn't necessarily make me happy. Now, I'm an early riser overall. I wake up at like 6.30 in the morning, right? And, you know, kind of go about my day and I work hard and so forth. And so in that sense, I'm going to, you know, I've, I've really reaffirmed for me of like, okay, uh, happiness is not going to take a lot of effort and I know what I enjoy and so forth. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. So... You know, if there's any advice that I have for you, um, you know, now that I've kind of reached an overall happiness, 
is to to stop making happiness be this like magical like effort filled thing and just kind of you know just give yourself some slack i guess <laughs> you know that's what i have for you um you know to that extent happiness is a very broad subject and has many definitions and so forth but you know ultimately you have to define it for yourself what it means um, but if you see someone that is happy you know, try their advice you know if you're on especially if you're unhappy right that's that's what this is meant for um if you have questions about any of this i know it's a broad thing it could be sort of nebulous or if you want to add your two cents by all means please share down in the comment section below or hit me up on social media at bill Speedtech, and let's let's uh continue the discussion I, I certainly would love to do so with you you know and uh because overall I, I i'm happy when when i converse with you and i can help you and you know i want to make you happy and i want you to be happy as well um so that's what I have for you. If you think this episode might benefit someone in your life, by all means, please share it with them. I certainly would appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Hope to see you next time.